to Amy and Chris. They've been trying to sell a three bedroom, one and three quarters bathroom home. Right now they're listed at 450. It's not bad at all. They've been on the market about 45 days. So what's kind of the miss with the house that's making it sit this long? Yeah. They're moving out of state, so time is of the essence for sure. So let's check it out. I, I love like the, the color. color. Oh, oh, jinx. Hi. We're just Hi, admiring the front yard. Awesome. I'm shocked as to why you've been on the market for so long. Around especially in this. Days. 45 days or so. 45 yeah. days, yeah. okay. So great neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Bothell's phenomenal. We really should get top dollar. Come on in. Oh, wow, I love these floors. Yeah, these are gorgeous. So there's a lot of potential for this room. Mm -hmm. This is a great size. Feels a little closed in. The closet on yeah. the far wall there really mm -hmm. kind of cuts off the space. Okay, let's see the kitchen. So this is kitchen dining. Yeah. We yeah. found it. We did. I... <laughs> it was on the other side of that wall. I understand now where yes. this wall is kind mm -hmm. of, what is the purpose? Well, and like you said, the well, flow, I, oh, I don't think oh, it's structural. Okay. And the flow in, yeah. Oh, just keep talking, sorry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the flow. I don't know what's happening over there. That's okay, yeah, though. Yeah, that I don't think is structural. She has decided it can come down to. I, well, I'm just saying, if we want to, <laughs> I've taken down this almost exact wall in my house. That's true. <gasps> the kitchen could definitely use a little sprucing. I would never get rid of these cabinets. No. Mm -hmm. But the countertops are dated. Yeah. Let's see the next room. All right. Yeah, this living way. room. I mean, this is Awesome. Mm -hmm. And then, Chris, I know you're handy. Did you do this? I did. Wow. Uh, I did put on the slate, and it turned out looking pretty nice. Are you getting any specific feedback from any buyers that walk through on this room? This color, some people are just totally turned off by yeah. how dark the color is. I think that's something to keep in mind when you're selling. It's not necessarily your preference. Sure. Mm -hmm. It's what's going to sell. So this is the master bedroom and bathroom. <laughs> Oh, yeah. wow, now this one yeah. is definitely dark. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. So we have three beds mm -hmm. and... One bath. Oh, one bath. For the whole house. Yes. Yeah. There is a structure in the backyard. Oh, okay. But that has, that has a bathroom. I'm super excited to see this other structure you've talked about. Here's the backyard. Just looks like a little bit of TLC to the mm -hmm. landscaping. Oh, wow. This is like a little house out here. Yeah. My dream would be is to make it a yoga space. Let's go back out front. There's definitely places that we can add equity mm -hmm. um, and get you guys some additional money out. Yes. So let's just do a little bit of research on the tiny home, see what we can and can't keep there, mm -hmm. and then come back and see some homes that we feel are the direction we'd like to go. Yeah, sounds great. <laughs> We're excited Wait. to show you this one. Excellent. Check it out. So this morning, we brought Chris and Amy to a house that recently sold in their neighborhood. It's very similar to theirs. So we think it'll give them a good idea of the price we could get for their house if we make the right changes. Come on in. So we walk right into the same idea of a living space. So what do you think? Nice living room right when you walk in. Yeah, having that be open. And that's what this house has that yeah. really we can recreate in your guys' home. You guys wanna see the backyard? So hot tub, fire pit. So how much is this house on the market for? It was actually listed at 449, mm -hmm. sold in 24 hours with multiple offers and went over list price to 460. Really? Yeah. I am surprised. Okay. But that's good yeah. surprise. That's good. Because right now you're at 450 and not getting the interest. But we think if we make some changes, we'll definitely be able to get your house to sell. So here's what we're thinking. In your living room, we need to remove the wall between the living and dining room to open up the space. In the kitchen, I'd like to replace the countertops and give this space a fresh new coat of paint.
I'd also like to give the whole house a fresh coat of paint to make it feel clean and bright. In the backyard, we'll remove the fence between the yard and the tiny house and update the landscaping. So really, it's time for us to make a decision about the tiny house. You have two options. Option one, we can take it down, but it's absolutely gonna reduce the value of your home. Mm -hmm. Taking away a three quarters bath is gonna be about a $15,000 reduction on your value. Okay, that's one option. So what's option two? <laughs> yeah. What's option two? <laughs> option two is that we can take down the extension you guys added and bring it back to the original size. But that means that we can keep the bathroom and there will be no reduction in price. So that's kind of the two options we have right now. Keep it. Keep it, for sure. Okay, so let's talk numbers. It will cost about $8,000 to remove the extension on the tiny house. We also need to open up the living room, update the kitchen, get the whole house painted, update landscaping in the front and backyard, and stage indoors and outdoors. We would invest about $35,000. We absolutely feel confident in selling the home at $500,000, which is $50,000 more than you guys were asking. After we recoup our initial investment of $35,000, we would split the remaining profit of $15,000. Do we have a deal? I think we do. I think we do. Yeah. Awesome. Jeff and his team are starting the demo in the kitchen where we're making the biggest changes. I think taking down the wall between the kitchen and the living room is going to make a huge difference. Oh, wow. wow. This, this looks so good. That makes a huge difference. I'm so happy that you pushed for that. Well, and honestly, look at all the natural light we've got now. You're right. The cabinets are a little older. Hickory gets a little dated. Yeah. How could we make it a little bit more modern. unique and yes, yeah. modern. So what if we shiplap just this backside? I love this. I think that's great. Bring okay. in like maybe a dark to match all your hardware. So you like the black versus the so white? So far, yes. Okay. To match the light modern feel of the rest of the house, we need to paint this room a much lighter color. If we don't paint the slate fireplace, it's gonna look like a dark hole in the middle of the wall. Paint okay. the mantle one sure. color, paint this another color. I'm gonna paint inside. So how are you gonna paint? It's stone. So trust us, because we've done it. Okay. And if it doesn't work, then we'll blame you. <laughs> That's what I'm afraid of. It's actually, <laughs> you're absolutely right. We're getting really close over here at Amy and Chris's house. We painted the slate on the fireplace a nice gray color that'll keep the light colors and industrial farmhouse style flowing throughout the house. It has the built-in primer, and this is exactly how we did my fireplace at my house. It's just gonna take a couple coats. Oh, no, oh my God. I'm not even kidding. If you paint me, I'm gonna punch you. I'm not touching you. <laughs> you see how close? <laughs> Stop! I'm on work mode. I'm work mode today. I'm not even touching you. <laughs> we incorporated that ladder we found at the boutique into a unique light fixture in the dining room. The hanging lights will hang between the rungs of the ladder, creating an eye-catching focal point the moment you walk in the door. It's gonna look so cool. And for the former tiny house, I'm staging it as a yoga room, but also showing that this small space in the back is a multi-purpose room that can be used for a variety of activities. This is going to be an amazing home to have guests over. And I wanna make sure potential buyers can imagine themselves entertaining in a unique, chic, and cozy space. So with that industrial kind of style, we mixed in the metals, the glasses, pops of yellow to give a bit of a color pop. Sister, Leslie, yeah, can you come help me finish this up? Yes. <gasps> I love fresh bed. It's not exactly what I was thinking of helping me. We're about to list, and so one of the last things we do is get Matt to come out. Matt does all of our drones. And this property warrants a drone. Absolutely. I mean, the backyard alone. It's Once stupid. you see it from up high, you can see the beautiful new sod we put in, how big the lot is. Mm -hmm. I mean, and people are buying large lots because you don't get that very often. Remodeled home, 
They swipe, swipe, see that beautiful kitchen, then swipe, swipe, you see that yard? Shut up. Swipe, swipe, right, they're sold. Oh my goodness. <gasps> God, you did take it you out. You did take the wall out. It went from like 1970s to modern. You guys, it's so precious. You, it is just lovely now. Ooh. This is so nice. Dude, you guys. Country style. Oh my goodness! Oh my Look goodness. at! I want to make uh, sweet, sweet food in this kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Buyers are buying because of kitchens. Yeah. We really wanted to give them something beautiful. So adding a simple backsplash and yeah. then giving them a solid surface countertop yeah. made a it huge nice. difference. The visual impact of looking at the counter and seeing the backsplash is just beautiful. The yeah. hickory with the flat black knobs on there. It's a cost effective way for people to update their kitchens, buying knobs for your existing cabinets. And I think my favorite thing about this kitchen is you can be in it and still really be engaged yeah. with the whole rest of this room. So what's next? We're going to that back living room. Oh my goodness! Look at Please. Look at my fireplace. Wow, you guys painted it. You painted it? It's like it's I like, like it. Like I started. <laughs> Nervous about him. <laughs> oh, that you painted his slate? Uh -huh. You yeah. painted you my slate. <laughs> she said that slate does not belong with the style mm. that we're doing. I knew how much you liked that slate. I did like it. I don't care as long as someone buys it. <laughs>